Welcome to the 2013 Pi Robotics Competition, Cube Root. Cube Root is played on a 12 foot by 12 foot carpeted field by four teams in two alliances, the Blue Alliance and the Gold Alliance. The object of the game is to score points by placing cubes into your alliance's goals. On the far side of the field, four dispensers contain five cubes each. The two outer dispensers are raised six inches above the ground, and the two inner dispensers are recessed three and a half inches into the field border. In the middle of the field, the two wall segments form a choke point with a five foot opening. On the near side of the field, the four alliance goals fit five cubes each. Each alliance is designated two goals to score in, denoted by the color of the goal zones in front of it. Access to the goals is impeded by the speed bumps, the two inner goals by a sawtooth bump, and the two outer goals by a rounded bump. Each match begins with a 20 second autonomous period where robots must move from the starting positions inside the alliance's outer goal zone towards the cube dispensers. Robots that navigate past checkpoints will score more points for the autonomous phase. The first checkpoint is the border of the outer goal zone, which must be crossed to avoid a 5 point penalty. The second is a round speed bump, which is worth 3 points. The third checkpoint is passing the plane of the choke point, which is worth 6 points. An alliance where both robots cross the third checkpoint will thus score 12 points, 6 for each robot. After the autonomous period, the 2 minute teleoperated period begins, during which robots may be controlled by human drivers. Two types of cubes exist, regular and multiplier cubes. Regular cubes and multiplier cubes are visually indistinguishable. However, robots may identify them by reading unique RFID tags embedded in the center of each face. Robots must take cubes from the dispensers and score them in one of their alliance's goals. Robots may scan the cubes to determine if they are multiplier cubes. Robots receive one point for each regular cube scored on their goals. If a multiplier cube is scored, the value of each regular cube already in that goal is doubled. This affects stacks. If another multiplier cube is scored, it will double the cumulative score in the goal. Throughout the teleoperated period, teams may also flip the two bonus dice that are on the field. Bonus dice start out in a neutral configuration. Robots may flip the dice at any time during the match. At the end of the match, points are awarded to the alliance whose color appears on the top of each die. That alliance receives points equal to the value ruled. The alliance with the most points at the end of the match wins. For complete rules, please consult the Pioneers in Engineering Cube Root Game Manual. Thank you for watching, and good luck!